Hello, I'm Brent Wilsey. And with me is Chase Wilsey. We're from Wilsey Asset Management. And welcome to today's Smart Investing Daily Briefing. Well, today's an exciting day because Shanghai Disney has opened, and we thought we'd go over it by the numbers for you, kind of show you things that nobody else will show you because <laughs> we show you the numbers on Shanghai Disney. Now, here's some important things. It took them seven years to build that, and the cost of almost $6 billion. Wow. And I'm thinking, that's a lot of money. So what is maybe the break even? So I did the math here. Their break even is about 103 million visitors if they pay about an average of $58 to get in. The ranges go from 45 to like 79 of the ticket prices. Now I will point out this does not include when you get into this, the, the theme park and buy the, the uh, novelties and the food and so forth, but nor does it include the expenses and they have about 10,000 employees. So a lot of numbers here that I've got a question, are they gonna make money on this? Yeah, definitely. And talking about 103 million visitors right here, their annual visitors is estimated to be about 15 million. Uh-oh. <laughs> so that's, that's a few years to reach 103 million. And also just kind of for comparison sakes, we took a look at Hong Kong Disney. They lost 19 million last year. Wow. So, you know, if the company is not profitable, it's gonna take them a long time to pay off that $6 billion. Uh, kind of speaking about Disney as a whole though, the company, the stock, uh, the current Ford PE, 14.7. I remember back, oh, I forget when it was, but it was trading at $122 a share. It was a 52 week high. It's now at $98 per share. Yeah, I think of the PE was about 18, 19. That's why I tell you, don't overpay for companies. Be patient. And I would love to own Disney again. If it drops a little bit more, we could be all over it. Remember when everyone said, Star Wars is gonna save this company. They're going through the roof. <laughs> They did not. Start going down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, all right, let's talk about our company for the day. And it's American Airlines. We thought they were going to fly over to Shanghai and see us. So we thought, eh, let's do an airline here for you. So you can see that American was way up here and then it went down and so forth. The 52 week high, 47, the low 29, right now, pretty much at the low. Let's look at these numbers and see if American Airlines is a good buy for you. We do see the sales, uh oh, down 4.4%, but the earnings per share climbed. 143 percent how are they doing that got us that question balance sheet got a current ratio of 0.7 not very strong and this debt equity 461 percent i don't like seeing that it seems like they leverage themselves a lot to buy these planes and stuff i know other airlines aren't doing that yeah, exactly and you're asking about the earnings versus the sales here american airlines is one of the only companies that does not hedge oil ah which is very very Dangerous. concerning right. given the low low levels of oil they were they were huge benefactors from that However, on the other side, it is a huge concern. Uh, but what we did is we took a look going forward to December 2017. Estimated earnings per share here, $5.51. Gives us a target sell price of $90.92. Wow, that sounds very attractive. But again, very scary with this debt. And also talking about that oil, two months ago, the estimate for December 2017, it was $6.04. And then three months ago, $6.49. What happened was we saw the price of oil to creep up. Mm -hmm their estimated earnings start to creep down because it's going to squeeze margins. So, wow, wow. Well, that's some good information there. So again, we hope you enjoy this information. It helps you out and so forth. But let me ask you, maybe you're just not happy with the current return on your portfolio, on your money. Maybe your current advisor is not doing this research, not getting you this good information for you. That could mean it's time for you to give us a call here at Will Sales and Management. We've been managing money successfully for over 30 years. Hey, you want to contact us, our phone number here is 858-546-4306, or you can go to our website, smartinvesting2000.com.